Welcome to the show your parents, the PTA and the asleep, don't want you to hear the Helios blog. Today, Andrew Tate and Sneeko crazy beef. Guys, it's fresh out the presses. Let's see. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Some sort of anger, some sort of jealousy, or perhaps some sort of emotional attachment to whatever. Because I have been publicly defending Andrew Tate. Everybody has seen it for relentlessly for years to the point where it was a meme where i was taking hits on my own reputation to where people were making fun oh you're glazing talking with all this stuff when they were in jail do you know the amount of people that i had to debate the amount of people that i had to go against defending your case never heard a word of thanks never heard a word of consolation that's fine the truth is more important i don't need to get approval i don't care uh-huh yeah you a youtuber you don't you don't need a approval. You a brand of me person. Yeah, you don't, you don't need approval. If there's something incorrect happening to one of my brothers, Lefo, others, I'm gonna go and speak up for them. But very clear, what everybody sees, you have not acknowledged any of that. You've never said a word of anything positive. The first time you speak about me is negative and trying to tear down what I've brought, to try to tear down my career. In fact, you said that you were gonna end my career, that you want to end everything that I've built. That's the first acknowledgement from the person, probably the most famous person in my generation by far, who's the day one when you got locked up. It was me. You're innocent. You're fr this is incorrect. This is unjust. The only one. In fact, I think I deserve credit for helping your reputation with Gen Z. Who else was really saying this? A I mean, I love Aiden, and I think you, you've been disrespectful to Aiden as well, but a, a lot of people were quiet. A lot of people didn't say a word because they didn't want to risk their reputation in case that you were actually guilty. But I was there. And then the first time you say anything is, you're gay, I stopped talking to you for a reason. People see through- Disaster. Again. It's hard to trust people like this who are just blowing in the leaf grifters for money, right? You guys have artificially created this beef, quote-unquote, in order to pump up your legitimacy for the audiences to which you're talking. It's just real-life reality TV crap garbage. Through this. People see through this. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother my community, the audience. But people, phony versus phony. People are going to see through this, and it's going to damage your reputation as the beacon of truth, the beacon of masculinity. You're like, what? Wait, what about brotherhood? What about loyalty? Beacon of masculinity, my round, shiny behind. Loyalty. What about truth? All, what did Sneeko even say to make you this upset? What did Sneeko say to trigger you to diss him publicly and then make a whole stream correcting him and threatening to uh, saying you want to fight, saying you want to end my career, la to be boastful and prideful? In fact, the arrogance that everybody is seeing from this is proof that maybe people are going to start looking in different directions. If you want to keep the brand of Top G, you cannot hold on to this arrogance and pride that you so clearly have. And I'm not saying this is disrespect, but it's it's become evident to a lot of people. Because real masculinity is not... What color is your guy? ...being boastful. Real masculinity is not being prideful. Real masculinity is not flashiness and cars and look how strong and rich I am. Money does not make your masculinity. In fact, it's the opposite. Being humble, being respectful, being generous. Being well, again, there is also bullshit in this too, right? Lots of bullshit in this. Sorry, guys. Uh, I need to turn on my ad blocker extension because it's extremely annoying when in the middle of the video, the ads start rolling in. Sorry. That you don't really speak about it. That you, you do touch on them sometimes, but that's what really makes a real man. Respect. Truth. Kindness, generosity, this stuff. Not flashy, strong, shirt off, all this. I get that it's, it's provocative for the stream and it brings people in. 
And one thing I hear you say all the time, Andrew, is that young people need an action movie star to, to look up to. I need to be the top G. I'm a symbol for the, for the young generation with this. But what they also need is somebody to somebody to look up to who's not hair. Yeah, and again, you used to say one thing and now you say another thing, Lefo. Classic. Target. Who's not prideful about this, who's willing to admit when they're wrong. Let's hear what Andrew Tate has to say in response. No, Sneeko, that's not what happened. You do not give a fair criticism based on Islam. Firstly, it is not your job in Islam to criticize anybody. That's the first thing. Second thing, you questioned my faith and called me a Jew. So you were responded to in kind. You cannot be a passive aggressive little girl. I understand you're young. But if you talk that way to people, you're going to be responded to a certain way. And you do it all the time. It's not just me. It's just who you are. You're very, like, smart, smarmy, snarky. That's uh, Sneaker is just a leaf blowing in the wind, right? He doesn't, he doesn't actually hold any true opinions. He just does whatever he thinks will make him money in the moment, not caring at all about um, how people see him. He does. He's just a some kind of sociopath, right? Or a cluster B narcissist type person. That's who you are. That's fine. But you deserved it, and you got brutally wrecked because you deserved it. Because you can't call me a Jew, and also just because you've been Saudi and I've been trapped on house arrest, you don't get to be a better Muslim than me and tell me how the world works either, friend. Right? So, no hard feelings, but you fucking deserved it. Right? If you said it in person, I would have knocked your ass out. And I would have helped you get up afterwards and said, sorry, sir, I had to break your jaw. You, sometimes things just have to happen. You know? I know you think you're a tough guy because Strickland couldn't finish you. I'll finish you. Don't worry about that. I'm built different. Now, this whole thing is convoluted. It deals with race. It deals with who's a real Muslim. It deals with, you know, um, who can tell people morally what to do. Okay, I don't really care about this uh, comment or what he has to say. Let's continue. I do not revent to Islam to try to attract fans from Islamic countries. I did not. <laughs> he says big smile. He did. He didn't, guys. He, guys, this big smile. Don't let it fool you, guys. Sneeko never does anything for money. Sneeko would never sell out for money. Change his opinions? No, no. Sneeko has an iron will no matter what happens he will maintain his iron stance on anything he holds for that video 15 minute segment then the second he decides to change his mind it's on to the next thing lefo 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 repeat it in your head guys that is the sneaker creed I am a leaf, I blow in the wind, whatever way the direction the wind is blowing, my sail is turned towards that wind and I'm shifting my opinion. I don't care who I bother about, um, I don't care who I bother because I hold these opinions, I will change in whatever direction I believe that the money is going to blow. I do not revert to Islam to use a shield from hate, I do not revert to jump on a bandwagon, that is a grift, I am not a grifter. Sorry, it's just <laughs> it ain't believable. And when you say it with that big smile on your face, like I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Sneeko. I keep my faith between God and I. Anthony, jo okay. Joshua, Mike Tyson, Dave Chappelle. Many prominent Muslims are private. Praying in private is showing worship to God. This is true faith. Trying to act as Muslim as possible for internet likes is simply a grift. Beware the Haram police; they're the biggest snakes of all. Nobody Haram policed him. What he said literally goes against the core fundamentals of being muslim white supremacy is wrong they're not totally right it's not totally right to believe in a supreme race that's everything that we're fighting against the whole the root of all evil stems from a superiority complex from a race that's why everything in the world sneaker is mixed too so he would hold such a view world is bad because of that belief system in fact you could say the first act of racism was satan when Satan decided they didn't need to listen to God and bow down to Adam because he thought he was superior and he didn't need to worship, that's where evil started. Satan, Shaitan, was the first original racist. So yeah, it's funny to make racist jokes, but racism is evil. Racism is bad. Racism has... Okay. Stand up, men. Uh, I am going to try to talk to them behind the scenes because I think that we're stronger together than we are apart. 
you know, there's really no reason for for them to be arguing. I mean, they exercise the same dean. I think maybe it's just a. You know what I find funny is Myron relies on the RP not fragmenting into little uh, pockets, right? It needs to be. It needs to be like. Uh, what the golden horde right like genghis khan like the mongol empire it's got to be huge and expansive it can't break up into little sub kingdoms because if it does uh there's no audience to watch him misunderstanding and uh i'm just gonna talk to them on the side man both of them and, and hopefully we can iron this thing out because i think uh we all stand for the same values you know freedom of speech loving our country um you know obviously ma positive masculinity um Protecting and providing for women, right? Not being a piece of shit scumbag, not being a loser, right? Uh, being uh, I don't think either Sneaker or Andrew Tate stand for those. I think you stand for those. Uh, going to the gym, taking care of yourself. We all have the same values, man. So there shouldn't be any, like, there shouldn't be any fighting, right? There's already, we already get enough, attacked enough by all these people on the internet that sit there and say, oh, look at these toxic alpha males. We already get attacked enough by these weirdos, man. So the last thing we need is infighting, because that's what they want. That's exactly what they want is infighting. So, indeed, although they're not infighting for real, it's an artificially created infight so that the community can go. Oh, there's a beef between these two. There's a beef between Taylor Swift and uh, what's her name, Katy Perry. Ooh, and really, it's all bullshit, and they shake hands behind the scenes. I'm going to talk to them on the side, man, and try to quell this. I don't think it. I don't think it's that serious. You know, I don't think, you know, Andrew or Sneeko hate each other. I think maybe there's just a slight disagreement and we can quickly, you know, uh, fix this up because both guys are upstanding, great individuals. I know both personally, talk to both personally, so we can, you know, come to a peaceful resolution here. So I'm, I'm definitely going to gonna reach out because I don't like seeing my friends fight at all. Because you don't hate black people? Are you stupid? I've never hated black people. Uh, he's not actually racist. Like, you're liberal now? Because you don't hate black people? Are you stupid? I've never hated black people. You, you switched up. Sneeko's partially black. Did you think that I was gonna... Did you think that I was gonna be an uncle... An uncle Tom in the big house for you whites? No. Never. <laughs> I can't believe people like this is people thinking I'm attacking whites. What did Sneeko sell out? What? Did you think that I was a white supremacist? Look at me. But Myron, I don't think we'll ever reach this point. Like he still is going hard trying to pander, but he always just constantly humiliates himself in the process and it's hilarious. I mean, the guy's so desperate to convince people that he's based, that he sucks up to white supremacists. Like he wants he is S star MPing for white nationalists and they treat him like dirt. I, I didn't think he is doing that. He's accepted by them so badly that he'll join a whites only Twitter space and try to convince the people in it that he's just like them, which is so embarrassing, especially because they want nothing to do with him, obviously. Like they're pretty open and honest about that by calling it whites only. It's not really a secret, but also Myron, he does think of himself as a white guy. Some guys are different about it. Like uh, some dudes are like, yeah, it's gonna be funny. Eskimo Brothers is for a funny yeah, story yeah, and yeah. shit. Um, but I, you know, and then some guys are like, hell, you know, I've noticed with black dudes, they don't like doing that shit. White guy. Uh oh. Did he call himself white? Guys, we're all like, yeah, we're, uh, I said we. Yeah, we're, <laughs> he's not, not, yeah, he's, he's not white. white. <laughs> he's white. He does see himself as white, although he t he does talk like a like a black person. Hey man. Officially, just stamp Myron as white. Yeah. <laughs> what I meant to say, what I meant to say was, when I was in college, yeah, I knew that was coming. So when he joined the Twitter space, he's trying to kiss their ass and convince them that he's just like them. But of course, that didn't work. And once he left, they're talking about him afterwards, and they kept calling him the N word and said he promotes N word behavior. Because, and I agree with him. Like, we gain nothing. Like, it was one of these comes in they talk nice they're like oh look white people deserve their space and can't we just be friends and blah 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 but then later that night they're just behavior yeah you know, i think it was you comfy that was speaking about that guy where he's like against the jews and all that shit and then a half an hour later he's posting shit like yeah as many bitches as you can and just full yeah. 
can make a behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Myron, 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 Myron Gaines. Yeah. Yeah. Myron Gaines. The worst thing he said was, don't marry a girl until you're 35. What a yep. retarded thing to yeah, say. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. Stupidest so, thing ever, mate. You know? This is why we're talking, this is what, this is what we were saying yesterday. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, they're fucking low IQ, they're low impulse yeah. control. Even if you know yeah. they say a few things that are based or whatever by our standards, don't fucking fall for it. Don't think that they're on our side. Oh, based, yeah. Yeah. you know, it just yeah. doesn't happen. Just, you know what I mean? Though? And Myron must just like getting humiliated because after this, he joined again and they just kept calling him the N word. They got into an argument and they eventually had to kick him out. Hey, Myron, you're in a hostile area. And I'm not area, scared bro. to have a conversation with you guys because I'm not a pussy. Okay, well, you're going to have to either kick me out or whatever. You're not going to have a conversation with him, is what I'm okay, trying to well, say. Okay, well, this dude's a f so whatever. British guy. You're like, dude, I know you're mad about something. Mate, 76. men, black men yeah. are like most hey, likely look, to hey, fuck other hey, black hey, men. Hey, you hey, look, you're black. Kick, 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 kick this here. Lordy Lord, what's happening here? I, I didn't know this was a thing. So he's just so desperate for the approval of white people. It's honestly kind of sad. Like also, I think last year when he was on Sneeko stream, he was wearing a clan hood while he's going off on Abba and Preach. And Nick Fuentes, he later joined the stream and even he was like, damn, this is hardcore, even for me. I like that. <laughs> I like that. This video that we, we got these niggas to? running like it's an employment line. What the f What? Don't do that, I will find you, you f stinky looking piece of shit you go I see well if I remember correctly on um the early fresh and fit had segments like this this is one of their publicity stunts that they used to get famous as they would wear crap like this uh I think he's just doing it to be provocative I think he's doing it because it gets guys like you speaking about it I don't think he genuinely actually believes these things or even cares. He's doing it for likes and views and comments and again, Myron is very intelligent. So he's the things that he does, he does for reason. He's also used to be a you know, he was a he was a cop and we know the detectives do manipulative things to get people to do what they want so they can put them so they can put people in jail right we know that they do things like that um so why is it so far-fetched to think that he would do something equally manipulative to gain likes and views and subs i fail to see why that would be an impossibility it's a strategic move in my opinion right here I don't like you already as a character. Th this, this is, this is not I was representative. Born this way, you chick. Keep going, chick. Come on. No, I don't think they do. So you damn right, they're high value man. They say more lives than your monkey asses have. What the fuck you niggas doing? Y'all sitting there in an entire ass room. I'm sitting next to a fucking monkey with dreads for a decade. You niggas. So that was a little hardcore. This is a little hardcore even for me. I'm glad you didn't show up in a in a white hood, Nick. That would a uh, optic. By the way, Nick is straight up one of those guys. If you didn't know, uh, Nick has been banned. One of, one of the people that to be banned from like all social media. And uh, he's still going strong. And, and uh, top right is Pearl. Um, she's a white girl that likes doing content with... Um... Man, what's the word? Uh... Man, I don't remember the word for girls that like black guys. Anyway, she's one of those girls. Um, loves making content with uh, with especially black men. You know, I was gonna do the. Mac she's in the RP space, but with black men. Yeah, but it just it wouldn't go. And as black hard women too. Hard as the white hood, so. Nick, your followers are going to Myron now. You got competition. <laughs> That's true. Both of you guys, both of you guys are. It's like I'm being outdone. I thought I went pretty hard in November, you got, you and it's like Myron leading the dissident right now. Ugh. Yeah, it's a couple of the Albanian and a black guy. What the? F <laughs> I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. My lord. <laughs> Poor Sneeko. We're all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're down. No, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> Oh man, what is happening, my lord? Go, no, 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 let's no. go. We're down let's for what happened. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, so Myron is just completely out of control. I mean, people think Sneeko's extreme, but even he looked kind of embarrassed about that. And he just seems like now he's starting to tone it down a bit. Like when Myron was on his stream recently, I think just last week, 
you tell Sneeko was not as into it. Like at one point, they're talking about that podcaster, Bobby Altov, and how she's been running around partying with athletes and rappers. And at first, they're both in agreement. They're like, yeah, she should be spending more time with her kids and her family. But then Myron, he had to take it up a notch, and he's like, yeah, and she's hanging around black people. And Sneeko's like, well, what's wrong with that? And what's wrong with hanging around black guys? And then they kind of had a disagreement about it. What? Oh, is he implying that race mixing is bad? He's sounding like, uh, very interesting. Again, it's, it's that, uh, by the way, as a reference to that girl running around with athletes and rappers and la la la, instead of spending time with a kid. Very Michaela Peterson, by the way. But it's, it's just that, uh, you know, single mommies at the club, you know, she's trying to get a guy to be C-star CK'd to take care of a kid, right? Oh, she's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. She doesn't like the dad. She wants a new dad. You know, she wants a superior man. She feels that she's wasted her genetic potential um, on the guy that she had a kid with. And, and then eventually Sneeko's like, what was the deal with you in that whites only Twitter space recently? Brutal. She's hanging out with two so it makes it even worse. Okay. Wait, what? These aren't Yeah, they are. What? She's Dominican. <laughs> Wait, why is it bad that she's hanging out with black people? Really? Yeah. Black girls are bottom of the totem pole, bro. You want me to lie? Bottom of the totem pole of, of what? Well, if you go by online dating statistics, uh, they're the least desired. Um, speaking in online dating terms, uh, you know, single mothers that are black are also very non-desired, at least in, uh, you know, in America, certainly. Again, just look at the statistics if you don't if you don't believe it. Because in everything, they're fat. They're okay, loud, okay, okay. First off, they're obnoxious. They have wear fake hair. These both girls are both Spanish. They look black, or half black. They look like half breeds. Wh Whoa, <laughs> where where did this come from? I've never heard Myron talking like this. This one here is definitely, she's Puerto Rican. No, that bitch is black. It's a Puerto Rican and a black Dominican. Black something. They're both mixed, bro. You say this. I saw the, the clip of you. You got um, you were in a whites-only Twitter space, and you got kicked out. Yeah, they didn't want to debate. Niggas got scared. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I think Sneeko might be regretting some of the people he chose to associate with. And then also later on during the stream, Myron's dog shit all over Sneeko's apartment, which is just awesome. And then Sneeko went on to Fresh and Fit afterwards and got into a giant argument with Walter, which was absolutely hilarious. And I just talked about it. Walter, nice name. On Patreon, make sure you check that out after this video. There's so many good moments from it. Sorry. Sorry about the plug, guys. It is really cringy. And it also made me realize I'm pretty sure Fresh and Fit is coming to an end soon. I mean, it seems like the whole red pill space is just kind of imploding at this point. And I wouldn't be surprised. I disagree, but all right. As if Sneeko is starting to rethink his whole career because recently he's been getting a lot of shit from his fans and people he associates with because he's denied the idea that Haitian immigrants are eating people's pets in Ohio and he's just been very pro Haiti because his dad's from there and he's been visiting there a lot recently. So after the presidential debate, when Trump said that the Haitian immigrants are eating people's pets, Sneeko put out this tweet where he said the story's fake. And okay, so here, let, let's read the Sneeko tweet. The Haitian cat story is fake, just like the little British girl stabbed by the Muslim refugee who was actually born in Cardiff. It's already been verified the cat lady was just a black American, but one boomer makes it go viral on Facebook and now it's a presidential talking point. This is a pick on third world countries like Haiti for being poor, but we should not demonize innocent people. Haiti has been completely destabilized ever since the Clinton Foundation stole billions of dollars in charity money. This is America's fault. Are we responsible to house thousands of Haitian refugees? No, but the least we can do is blame our own people when they're eating cats. And then he also put out another one where he said, soon the people will know the truth about the beautiful country of Haiti and posted a picture of himself there. And he just got absolutely annihilated in the comments. I mean, pretty much everybody was making fun of him, which of course, you know, the people that follow him aren't gonna be sympathetic towards Haiti or the immigrants from there. And then the people that would be more sympathetic towards that obviously just hate Sneeko and are preying on his downfall. So everybody's just piling on here. You know, he's getting destroyed. 
and this made him rethink his whole opinion on white supremacy. A country that was built by white people, by white supremacy, if it changes from that, there's going to be absolute mayhem. If you destroy the ethnic majority, if you destroy the ethnicity that created the country, you destroy the essence of it. Uh, what? That's not at all how that worked. What? There's a thing called a ruling class. What? I, I, uh, okay, I don't think Sneeko reads books at all. I, again, I, I fail to understand how people like this even become popular. Whatever. Just say whatever you want confidently, I guess. White people created America. It, like this narrative that like well, Chinese people built the railroads. Who hired the Chinese people to build the railroads? Well, slaves who, bro, slaves, they picked some cotton. Slaves didn't build America. White people did. They were the engineers, the designers, the one creating all the deals. White people created America. White people, Amer Uni the United States of America is a white country. It was built by white people. It was created by white people. This is, should be a white country. When was this ever a white country? When, like for a couple of years? What the founding fathers and then all these immigrants poured in immediately white supremacy is white zionism it's the same exact i like that they had uh, they had a clip of sneaker saying one thing then immediately cut to sneaker saying the opposite thing lefo 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 and on that point let's end the video there hit the like hit the sub hit all the notifications drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian Otto, and Bobby Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, Anna, Armani, and Nicholas. Well, technically speaking, these guys didn't donate. They actually bought my books. So, uh, there, it's at bit.ly slash Helios Books. My two books are Strategist Guide to Deduction and Quotes to Live By. Um, that's what I get for saying the same thing over and over and then uh, writing over it. Anyway, if you'd like coaching services, I do offer them. That's my email there, theheliosblog at gmail.com. Um, shout out to Nick, doing coaching. Just message me at my email and I'll slot you right in. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.